Have a great day, okay? We're back, and in today's video, we meet this peculiar man. Okay. Known as Foshin the Good. It's Foshin the Good. From the YouTube channel, This is a Public Service. A polite businessman turned investigative journalist who tests cops all over Florida, asking these questions to every constitutional oath taker he sees. One. If somebody had a question for you and you didn't know the answer, would you make a good faith effort to find the answer to that question? Always. And two. The First Amendment of the Constitution, it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? And another thing, this guy asks a lot of questions. The good faith and constitutional questions usually presented deep into the police encounter after a couple of softballs. I don't see too many uh, deputies rolling around in a hat like that. Is that a, uh, is that a Stetson? Yes, it is. You wear that every day? Every day. But watch as he poses these questions over and over again and see how the facade of respect and honor crumbles into contempt as the First Amendment question is revealed. As the video plays, we'll keep track on this scorecard. And here we go. If somebody asked you a question and you didn't know the answer to it, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Yeah, I would try to. If, yeah. I, if I knew like a, a route to take or yeah, you know, cool. direct them in the right direction. Cool, so <laughs> there's five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? No. You couldn't? No, I, I, don't, I don't feel the need to. Not that no. I can, I just don't feel the need to. Is there anything else we can help you with? It was about good faith. Okay, I understand that. So you anything me? else I can help you with? So you, that's exact. Right in my face. I'm just gonna shut it right in my face. Uh, if somebody had a question for you and you didn't know the answer, would you make a good faith effort to find the answer to that question? Always. The uh, First Amendment of the Constitution, it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? No, sir. Chief. Sir, I have The question was about good faith. I know, thank you. Wow. If, uh, if one of the people came up to you and asked you a question, and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights, it was something that you should know the answer to. Would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Absolutely. So the First Amendment, it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five I don't freedoms know. are? We're, we're worried right now. Yeah. We're actually running late for our assignment, so we have to leave. Oh, okay. there's, there's five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? We're having a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're having a conversation about good faith. So would you make that good faith effort? I appreciate it. So is that no? Not no, you won't. So you're, you're yeah, but you're here for an event for the people, and he works in the city. I'm going to start talking about people. Not a ton of good faith, chief. Like you were engaging here, and like you're just walking away. Yep. Thank you. You guys are both sheriffs. Are you guys constitutional uh, officers? Uh, there's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you guys know those five elements? Do you guys, as constitutional officers, do you guys think that's a problem? Uh, if one of the people asked you a question and you uh, you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights it was something you should know the answer to, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Absolutely. There's uh, five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Can you tell me what those five freedoms are? Five freedoms. Secured to us by the First Amendment. Okay. Does that mean you'll make a good faith effort? Because you're saying you'll choose not to, but where does that good faith effort come in? Apparently you know it, so you ask me if I know it. That's right, I am. Yeah. Because you swore an oath to protect it. Right? Oh, you have a good day now, right? So th there's no good faith? No? Yeah. If, uh, if one of the people came up to you and asked you a question and you... You didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights, it was something you should know the answer to. Would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Where are we going with this conversation? Can I help you with something? Well, yes. Okay. So does that mean you would make the good faith effort or does it mean that you wouldn't? What can I help you with? So the First Amendment of the Constitution, it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? So what can I help you with? Do you need something from me today, sir? Yes, yeah, specifically, I wanted to know if you could tell me the five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Is there something I can help you with, sir? 
Are you confused about what I need? No, sir. Do you need medical? Does it sound like I need medical? I'm asking if you need medical, sir. Does it sound like I need medical to you? I'm still curious if you're going to make that good faith effort. Since you swore, since you swore an oath to protect those rights, would you make a good faith effort to find out what rights those are? It's very simple. I'm not sure why you're turning this into something a lot bigger than it needs to be. Why, why are you trying to turn this into a confrontation? I asked you if there was something you needed, sir. Are you yeah, confused about what I need? Are you confused about what I need, sir? Do you need medical? Are you, are you confused about what I need? No, sir. Are you reporting a crime? Does it sound like I'm reporting a crime? <clears throat> it's a simple question, sir. Are you reporting a crime? Do I answer questions? Are you reporting a crime? Do I answer questions? Simple question, sir. Are you reporting yeah. a crime? Do I answer questions? Thank you, sir. Call so us you, when you need us. So you won't make that good faith effort? Thank you, sir. Call us when you need us. Great look for the city of Orlando. If, uh, if one of the people came up to you and asked you a question and you didn't know the answer to it, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? I would, yes. You would? The, uh, the First Amendment of the Constitution it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? No. I do not know. You don't know? Unless you want to sit here for me to find out. Well, I, the question was about good faith. What about good faith? Would you make that good faith effort? Okay, so if, if you want me to find out, I will look at it up. I'd love, I'd love for you to find out. Uh, what was the question? You don't remember the question? No. The First Amendment of the Constitution, the Constitution that you swore an oath to protect? Sure. It secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? Okay. I'll hang out, I'll find out. Okay, I'll hang out. Freedom of religion, speech, press, assembly, and petition. Thank you, sir. How long have you been an officer? Seven years. Seven years? Do you remember swearing that oath when you when you became an officer? Not really. You don't remember? You don't remember raising your hand? I do remember swearing. raising my hand. So when you did that, was that an empty allegiance? It was not, but it was back then. It was back then. Okay. Well, officer, I'd appreciate you never forgetting. Will do. I'd appreciate that you, you Thank wouldn't you. do. You're welcome. Here's the question. Okay. It is specific. Um, the First Amendment of okay. the Constitution, okay. it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Okay. Do you know what those five freedoms are? Okay. I'm not going to talk to you on, on camera, not on, not on government building. Okay. okay, but it directly relates to your to your job, I mean, because you swore an oath for the Constitution, right? I swore an oath to defend the Constitution when I joined the military, yes. Yeah, well, I appreciate your military service as well. Okay, just a minute, sir. Yeah. I hope that you make that good faith effort. Absolutely. I, I, I truly do, because it's, you know, there's there's a big divide uh, in America right now between the people and law enforcement. So, you know, me, I I believe that I believe the answer to that question is a big reason for that divide. You know, because if you if you're out here and you don't know what out rights you're out here to secure, you know, it has a chilling effect on the Constitution. You know what I mean? Uh, I can see you're not real interested in bridging the gaps. And please, please make, make that, that effort. Absolutely. All right? Absolutely. And please, I implore you, never forget. Please. All right? I'll check your hand. Have a good day. Thanks. There's five freedoms that are secured to us by the First Amendment. Yes, they are. Do you happen to know what those five yes, freedoms sir. are? What about those five freedoms? And that's, that's where the problem comes to. What? What obligation am I to just Under none. I mean, that's why I asked the question, though. Yeah. Like, if it was something you didn't know, would you make a good faith oh, effort? Oh, something that's something that's integral to your job. You know what I mean? I mean, that's it's you, you didn't swear an oath to, to a, a, a whole lot, you know? But this was the very first thing. Yep. You know what I mean? So could you tell me the five freedoms protected? I, I mean, I could if I want to. Yeah, but you don't want to. Yeah. So are you familiar with 901.151? No. Yeah, so that's the ID statute in Florida. That's probably 
the statute that you interact with most as a deputy because you're getting ID from almost everybody, right, that you come into contact with. If one of the people came up to you and asked you a question and you did know the answer to it, but by all rights it was something you should know the answer to, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer? There's five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Can yep. you tell me what those five freedoms are? I'm pretty sure I have all four, and I think there's one that I always forget. Okay. Freedom of speech, religion, assembly, press, and I always forget the fifth one. The rock star dude's petition. Petition. That's it. Yeah. That's always the one I forget too. I don't know why, but it is always the one I forget. Miller's doing good down there training you guys. I appreciate so, uh, it. I appreciate you being uh, open to answering the question. Yeah. I'm here for you. If, uh, if one of the people came up to you and asked you a question, this and, is a public uh, service. You didn't know the answer to it, but it was uh, by all rights something that you should know the answer to. Uh, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer? To that Absolutely. Question? That's our job. Yeah, I appreciate doing yeah. that. Um, there's, there's five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? I'm, I'm going to run that down. I'm not going to have the long conversation with you, but okay. they, they have something with the uh, scaffolding downtown, okay. so i got to run that. So okay. will you make that good faith after that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I appreciate that. Right, time. Right. You have a good day. Okay. I got a question. If uh, if one of the people came up to you and asked you a question and you, you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights it was something that you should know the answer to, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? The uh, First Amendment of the Constitution, it uh, secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? Okay, well, unfortunately, I have somewhere to be. So, does that mean you'll make that good faith effort or no? Okay, so, how would you like me to contact you? I can leave an email address if you'd like. By all means. Letters, L-E-T-T-E-R-S, of, O-F, Foshin, P-H-O, P-H-O, C-I-O-N, C-I-O-N, at Gmail. And that's it. Here are the results of this sample. Being very generous and with definite help from This is a Public Service, we're at 2.75 out of 14 attempts, putting this sample's First Amendment competence at about 19.6%. However, without Foshin's insistence that these officers educate themselves, we'd be sitting at a 0.75 out of 14 attempts, or 5.3% officer competence. Just some exploratory numbers from this limited sample. Visit This is a Public Public service to follow his journalism, including to see more tests like these. We're out here today to ensure our natural rights are respected by those who swore an oath to support, protect, and defend the rights of the people. The purpose of all interactions is to peacefully promote government accountability and transparency. Please like, share, and subscribe so this message can reach as many people as possible. I implore you to peacefully seek redress to any and all of your grievances. This is a public service. Until next time, thank you for watching Cameras Everywhere. Beware enemies of the people, and remember, a nation's morals are like its teeth. The more decayed they are, the more it hurts to touch them. The chief, this was just a ruse to get me here. The chief's not going to come speak with me. Uh, I mean, I could call and see if he wanted to. What do you um, mean wanted to? I set up an appointment to speak with him. Right. Well, so that's what this was. This, this was, was the, a ruse. This was the business that you needed to handle. Was getting a copy of the the citation or the, no. sorry, the trespass warning, right? No, that wasn't why I was here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I and didn't the, know. And the chief knows that. Okay. Well, so, he, he, so is the chief coming down? No. The chief was never coming down. Oh uh, no. Right. You guys are out of control. You don't Sorry, care about that way. It's not a feel, man. You just, you just, you guys are, you're out of control. Okay. I was complying with the law. Right. I understand. And I understand your, uh, your frustration. Um, you're not interested. Though. I'm not. I got to go. Yeah. yeah so. You're not interested. I'm not. Yeah. You seem like a good guy. And I, now I you're showing, be, yeah, but now you're showing your true colors. You're showing us that the gang, the gang of the Deland Police Department only cares about violating rights. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's not a feel, man. It's clear. Okay. It's clear. Violating rights. Okay. You don't you guys don't care about the oath that you swore to the Constitution. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't know how you sleep at night. I don't know how you sleep at night, man. It's fucking gross. Alright. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna beat all this shit. Good. 
Yeah, it is good. You guys are cowards. Cowards. There you go. Thank you. You're a terrorist, man. You're a domestic terrorist. The Constitution, the Constitution doesn't mean anything to you.